Nemiroff, oh bold goodness. character since 1872. In Ghana is in white. Miacic is in the black and gold befitting a champion. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. I mean, the tension in here. Already is seeing a more patient Francis Ngannou. Beautiful low kick. And you do not want to get kicked with those legs. The size difference is very evident. Yep. But with all that muscle comes a lot of oxygen requirements. So if this fight gets into the deeper rounds, you can see fatigue playing a factor. Body shot from Ngannou, a lot of pressure on both of these coaching staffs tonight. The smaller octagon could play a big factor here, and it looks so small with these two giant guys <laughs> inside here. It doesn't leave much room for error, man. It's so much different. It really, really shows itself in the heavyweight fight. Yes, it is 30% smaller. Steve Bay trains at a 24-footer, as he told us, DC and Cleveland. You this can is tell. 25. Oh! Oh! Steve Bay took that, though. That's a, Incredible. That's a win from Miocic. Incredible. Francis landed. Clean. We don't see many people take that from Nganu. But look, Nganu's patient. He landed that shot. And he's being patient. He talks about his evolution as a fighter. Early shot from Stipe. This is big. This is a big oh, this is actually big thing down the fist by Nganu. Wow. Big improvement. Big he actually improvement. did the right thing on the defense. He was able to. Oh, oh my goodness. look at this. Big ground strikes here. Oh, Stipe in front of those Real trouble. Real trouble. Oh, huge right. Oh, Be oh, oh, Able to survive oh, for now. No, this, hey, but this is not smart by Nganu. Trying to wrestle offensively. Wow, that was much improved defense by Francis Ngannou. And then back to being patient. That was, that's... That's big. Yes. That's a big improvement. Francis was able to cover the head, get his shoelaces back. That was beautiful. Oh! Big kick from Ngannou out of the southpaw stance. Wow. With all these big actions, right, if Stipe can survive, it's still a matter of trying to get the fight longer. But boy, Francis has started fast and good. But he's being patient. Yes, measure. Even though he's starting fast, he's taking big gaps in between these yep. big moments. Rest. Yes. It's like a football game, right? Big play, long time in between yes. the plays. But his mouth is open right now. He's breathing out of his mouth. But he's got to preserve this energy, right? Yep, he's got to take his time. Because right now he's doing great, right? He's winning the first round, and Stipe hasn't really figured out how he's supposed to attack and approach him. I'd like to see him go back to that low calf kick again as well. Stipe has only thrown a handful of strikes thus far. Five of them has landed them all. But exercising a lot of patience here. Three and a half minutes in. He's setting up that big kick off the left leg again. This is a very measured pace, though. How, you know, the thing about the first fight was that it was frantic early. And so Francis ran out of energy. But this pace, where they're not throwing that much, and they're just exchanging big strikes, I feel like Francis could go long yes. at this pace. Yes. It's also the adrenaline dump. I mean, you got to wonder, in the first fight, it was a big factor. Has he prepared himself psychologically for that, for this fight? There it is. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Everyone in here watching with bated breath, as quiet as it's been in here all night, seemingly. I feel like I want to mute my thing because I feel like people can hear my heart rate. <laughs> it's just pumping so fast. I feel like they can hear it through my microphone. <laughs> See, my heart's beating so fast. Yeah, my, my heart's pounding. <laughs> There's so much tension in the air. It's kind of scary, actually. Like, are we okay? 
Well, if you bet on either fighter to get it done in round one, it's time to rip up those tickets. Five minutes in the can. All right, have a seat. All right, breathe. Breathe in and out, in and out. Bubble. Alex, can you hold this? Good, in and out. Get that air, let me shoot my piece. You're doing good. All right, hey, we gotta get our offense up a little bit. Okay, you gotta get a little more speed. Like, look at, you gotta, everything's gotta be a little bit more explosive, okay? He's, he's moving, he's following you around nice, okay? I think that really gonna dance. Here's a big right hand that opened things up. Look at this, boom. I mean, clipped him right on the side of the head. Stipe just ate it. And here is the takedown defense, and this was a big moment in this fight, huge moment. Francis took his back, landed some heavy, heavy shots. I mean, this is a big, big moment. These are enormous punches, but it just shows you the power, or excuse me, the ability to absorb power shots that Stipe has. Stipe has a tremendous chin. He does. I mean, Francis landed on him. Big shots. Big shots. Stipe's left Fred. eye seems to be bothering him considerably. There was a wince when the cut man, Rob Monroe, tried to attend to it. So we will keep an eye on that. Round two is underway. Boy, you can hear the corner of Ngannou saying, patient, patient, patient. And Stipe's corner is telling him he's got to get the offense going a little bit. Oh, I like that with the jab and then yep. off the low kick. Nice advance there by the champion. Absolutely. Now Miocic has to enter the fire a little bit in order to force Francis to fight him. And Francis has got to be careful to not load up and leave these big openings. Oh, Stop. Knocked out for Stop. 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 Wow. That was nasty. That's as nasty as it oh, ever gets. Oh, my goodness. Stipe is trying to get up, but they're oh, trying to stop him. Oh, they got to stop him from, they getting, gotta up. Stop him from getting up. He's going to fall down. So, oh. in UFC appearance, number 13, Francis Ngannou finally oh, breaks so through and becomes the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. This fight replay is brought to you, sorry, Joe, by Nemerat Bold Character since 1870. And clearly learned all the lessons from the first fight and, and came back brilliantly in the second fight. He that was dropped nasty. him with a jab, that step was in leg jab. with the lead hand. Yeah, and then swarmed on him, had him in big, big trouble, hit him with that uppercut, and, and look at that, Stipe fired back. That was the worst and thing that could have happened for Boom. Stipe, though, Joe. That was the worst thing that could have happened for yeah. Stipe. Stipe landed and thought he hurt him back. When he lands his power jab up the middle, he drops Miocic. When they're, when they're throwing here, Miocic feels like he hurts him. So then he goes, okay, I can go. And look at this. Short left hook that just drops him. So short. His lights. I mean, so short. short. Perfect left hook. Aye, aye, aye. Look at this again. Look at this left hook. Boom. Oh, my Perfect. goodness. Perfectly placed. His leg, he falls back over his leg, and then he gets to take an extra one. It was over. Look at that. The fight's over. Stipe's done. Stipe's done. Amazing technique, amazing oh. composure by Francis. Showed all the lessons from that first fight. Learned it, came back with an A+. Plus. Joe, calm Francis is the scariest human being <laughs> on the planet. He's so <laughs> scary because he has a tremendous chin. Not just tremendous power, enormous guy, but with that man, Eric Nixick, with Dewey Cooper, with all the guys that he trained with oh. at Extreme Code Tour, he's learned. You and now he's the heavyweight champion. Yeah, you got to credit those coaches. Eric Nixick, <laughs> chief among them. A lot of people wonder, DC, if Ngata should be out trying to get grappling repetitions, put in the right work, listen to his coaches, and got it done with the power tonight. The official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. One final time tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis 
the Predator and Garner. Joe, I said off the top, it seemed an eventuality that eventually UFC President Dana White would be in there putting that belt around Francis Ngannou's waist. Maybe it took a little bit longer than people expected, but he's the baddest man on the planet now, for sure. Well, he has certainly realized his potential, and I think because of this victory and the spectacular nature of this victory, he's going to have even more confidence. And, you know, look, a fight with Derek Lewis, a rematch uh -uh, with Derek Lewis. Uh -uh. Johnny Bones. John Jones. John Jones, you going up to heavyweight. That's waiting for you right there. <laughs> Keep him in the takedowns. Listen, Francis Ngannou is the champion of the world. John Jones is considered one of the greatest fighters of all time. That's the fight. Francis Ngannou versus John Jones. If Francis Ngannou... I said, Joe, strap a rocket ship to his back if he got the belt. If he can put John Jones behind Stipe Miocic, there will be full arenas every time. It will be the Mike Tyson effect. Look at my boy. Ngannou. Francis Ngannou. I mean, look at that. Look how happy he is. Holy smokes. Look how happy he is. Talk about being excited for a young man to finally accomplish his goal. But, Joe, strap the rocket ship and send... The flight, hey, Donnie <laughs> Bones, all first class for everybody. Private jet, fly you to fight Francis. It's going to be a massive fight. These two champions, John, for the heavyweight champs of the world is going to be insane, Rogan. It is going to be insane. And you know what? There is there is Derek Lewis on the horizon, but you're right. You're right. Yeah. John Jones is the fight to make That's right away. Woo! Kamaru Usman just came over and said that's three oh, for Africa. Of course, Kamaru oh, Usman becoming the first African.